What is going on guys? I hope you guys are doing well. And right next to me is my 1991 Toyota Land Cruiser. And today we're gonna to be working on it. We're gonna be getting rid of that old, ugly, faded bumper. And we're gonna be installing the on you descent off-road front bumper. Now we did order a front and rear bumper, but in this video, we're gonna be just focusing on the front bumper. And I'll explain why I decided to go with that bumper just shortly. So enough said. We're gonna take that front bumper off. We're gonna be unboxing the brand new bumper and we're gonna get it installed. Let's get into it. So now it's time to assemble the bumper. So we have the center portion of the bumper here, and we also have these brackets here that will secure the bumper to the frame of the Land Cruiser. So these, we're gonna just grab them, we're gonna place them just like this. And in the hardware kit, you're gonna have two bolts that we're gonna be using to basically align the bracket to the center portion of the bumper. All right, so now that we have the bumper somewhat pre-assembled, before we put it on the Land Cruiser, we have to install the winch. Now, I did opt to go with a worn winch just because that's what I have in the Tacoma. Uh, it's reliable, it's always worked when I needed it, and uh, that's what we're gonna be putting on the Land Cruiser. So lifting a uh, winch and a bumper by myself is a mission, so I have Daniel helping me today. We're going to finish this off and move on to the rear bumper. So now that we have the bumper bolted down to the, to the factory frame, we did add some witness lines to make sure that this does not move. If something comes loose, we're going to be able to see it. So now that we have the top and bottom bolts securing the center portion of the bumper to the frame, one last bolt here will be on the side. We're going to thread that in by hand. And now just like on every other bolt, we're just gonna mark it. All right, so here we have the bumper Got the center portion, got the winch in, got the end caps secured and aligned. Now it's time to add the hoop. Thanks, Brian. Anytime, man. All right, so it's coming together, guys. Look at this. Let's flip this around. Ooh. Yeah. I kind of like the option of just having the center portion of the hoop and just exposing the light here. But I also like this look as well. I feel like it's gonna protect a lot more out on the trails. But the neat thing is that this is modular and I can remove the whole entire hoop whenever I want and add it, but I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna leave it on. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you have an 80 series that you're looking for a bumper? This is light, it's aluminum, it's modular, and I think it looks great.
guys, here we have it, finished product, and this thing looks like a tank. Man, does that look good. I am so excited because not only are we gonna be installing the front bumper, but the rear bumper will also be the descent offer bumper. And one of the reasons why I like and I went with this bumper is because it's modular. So I like to switch things up. You guys have seen my journey with the Tacoma, a lot of different you know, iterations of it. Obviously now it's that's the finished product, what you see now with the alloy cap. But with the Land Cruiser, I'm still learning as I go. And the fact that I can, you know, unbolt things and make it look a little different and just experiment with it this bumper is the bumper that i wanted to i wanted to go with i hope i was able to give you guys a good visual of the insult which was a breeze thanks to descent off-roads uh, website they have a install pdf in there that walks you through the whole entire thing but me as a content creator i like to visually see things when i'm installing something that i'm not familiar as with so I hope this video helped. And again, one of my favorite things about this bumper and the reason why I love it is the fact that it's modular. So it's easy to install, it's modular. You can make your own, you can add, remove the end caps, you can remove the hoop. Just switch up the whole entire look of the Land Cruiser by just simply unbolting bolts. So again, guys, I love the way it looks. I'm looking forward to installing the rear bumper, which is also this in off-road. And I'm just looking forward to wrenching once again on a new project like the Land Cruiser. So if you want to check out Descent Off-Road's bumpers, if you're in the market for an 80 series bumper, I'll be putting all their information down below in the description. Let them know I sent you over. Let them know that you saw this video. And yeah, more Land Cruiser content coming your way. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.